Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. Greetings again from this beautiful Himalayan valley. The topic for this video is what humankind needs the most right now. You might think that this is a big topic, right? But I think it's actually pretty simple. I think that the next step in our human evolution is a simple trick or a simple behavior shift. It's a mind pattern, and this mind pattern says respect. Respect for nature, respect for other human beings. It is really that simple. I believe that right now, if our level of respect for others was increased, um, our respect for nature was increased, it would radically shift uh, certain key actions, behaviors, patterns that are uh, disharmonious and that are holding us back right now as a human race. So um, I think that cosmic evolution and human evolution is very well organized. It means that we only receive the powers, the power that we can handle as a human race. You know, it's like we are given fire, right? And we spend the next um, one million years mastering that fire, learning how to play with it. And then we are given atomic energy. Then we spend the next, you know, maybe 500, 1,000, 2,000 years playing with it and learning to master it. And learning to use it in very constructive ways. With greater power comes greater responsibility. So right now I think that as human race we are only given what we can handle. And as long as we stay stacked in um, that degree of respect and uh, uh, consideration for other human beings and the planet as a whole, then uh, we it's like a threshold that we are not crossing right now so what does that mean in a very specific way specifically i think that there is one area where we can greatly improve improve as human race and it is the way we do uh, business on this planet it has to do with the business world i think that right now you have systems which are powerful which are corporations which are political systems, which are abusing human beings. Abusing by human beings by lying to them in the name of profit, you know, false marketing, uh, false claims. Uh, it's, uh, it's basically abusing the trust of, uh, of human beings and it's raping and destroying nature in many ways. So um, let's take an example. For instance, you know, the abuse that is going on right now in the Amazonian forest, right? If you would have a system which is healthy right now on the planet, you know, suppose that we ask to the human race as a whole, I think that 99% of the human race would demand that we stop the destruction of the forest. So the reason why it's not happening is because you have a, a few corporations that benefit financially short-term, say that again, it's really short-term, it's a short-term financial benefit in the name of that financial benefit, in the, name, in the name of this profit, they are abusing and destroying something that belongs to the totality of human race. So there are two ways to solve that. The first way would be to, to get in there and uh, change the political system so that we have some form of overall body that allows us, as human race, not just a country, to protect and have an impact on uh, this behavior. It means to stop that behavior. Another possible way to stop that 
is to change the mindsets and the priorities of these corporations. Uh, what does that mean? It means that when uh, you have a boss, you have some stockholders who decide to make a decision to go and destroy half of the Amazonian forest, what they are doing is we put profit first. Profit comes before uh, the respect of nature. That's what they are saying. So in the mind there is, there is a priority, there is an urgency. The reason why people want profit so much is because profit used to be, with, used to be associated with survival, you know. Uh, many thousands of years ago when we used to live in, uh, in, uh, in nature, go hunting was a, just a matter of survival. We needed to hunt for food. So there is this, this kind of urgency in, inside of us to hunt for food, to make profit, to secure our lives. The thing is that most of these stockholders right now, their lives are not being threatened anymore. It's not a matter of survival, it's just a matter of accumulation. So the um, profit urge is um, totally out of place right now. So we need a shift in that pattern. Um, we need, um, a, a, you know, a serious shift in the business priorities. And we're not just, I mean, this one was about the Amazonian forest. You can see what would happen if the stockholders would go like, okay, we can choose between profit or respect for nature. Let's choose for respect for nature. And uh, that would radically change um, what goes on on this planet right now. So we are talking right now about the Amazonian forest, but you can apply uh, the same idea to all sorts of industries. I would say probably 90% of the industries that, are, that go on on this planet right now are performing some form of abuse, uh, disrespect on either other human beings or, um, or the planet or nature. Think about you know, pharmaceutical companies, think about car companies, you think about oil industry, you think about, um, you know, all the big industry that goes, that all the big uh, businesses that make tons of money on this planet right now, they are performing some form of abuse and disrespect and putting profit above respect of human beings. Um, you know, false claims from pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical drugs uh, hiding side effects, you know, from, from drugs, um, oil exploration, you know, going to places where uh, they are raping the planet, destroying ecosystems in the name of profit again. Uh, think about the car industries, you know, if they were really respectful and wanting a better environment, they would focus right now on uh, uh, clean um, vehicles which is totally within range and within uh, our technologies called possibilities. It's just a matter of prioritizing. It's just a matter of putting the effort where it really matters. Um, think about, you know, arm industries. I mean, uh, you have thousands of people on this planet right now who are focused on designing systems to annihilate other human beings. <laughs> you know, this is, this is quite, quite something. You can say, well, you know, it's just for protection. Uh, no, no, don't, don't get this wrong. It's for profit. The reason why uh, people are developing weapons, why industries are foc focusing on that is because they make tons of money selling these weapons. It's not for humanitarian reasons. It's for profit. So, you know, we can look at it from that perspective and realize that there is just one simple shift to make. Respect first, profit after. This is it. The equation right now is profit matters way, way more than respect. We need to shift that as human race. And you might say, well, you know, I cannot do much because I'm not don't have political power or corporate power, but you can start right where you are. You know, we are making decisions every day concerning our business, concerning our relationship to other human beings, 
and uh, considering our relationship to to uh, the way we relate to nature around us consider that and look at your own choices really because if you think that the problem is out there um, that's very disempowering I believe that the the, 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 the solution is right starts right inside of you start looking at your own choices and realize that you know why take the car when you can take the bike it's you just go to work one kilometer from here you might say well it's raining uh, it's discomfortable yeah yeah uh, sometimes respecting nature might be a little bit uncomfortable might require some some adaptation you know in the, in the behavior and um, but I do agree with you you know a lot of the power is in uh, is in the hands of corporations and and politicians and I hope that they hear you know this message um, that I feel is a is a need for the human race as a whole uh, but again you know on a small scale right now what I look at is I, my own behaviors and uh, where I can uh, shift this and put respect uh, love as, um, as the first priority, much higher than profit. And there are tons of choices that can, I can make every day, every year, that are going to reinforce that idea of respect above profit. Hope that makes sense to you. Look at your own life and uh, see what you can do about that. Take care. Bye-bye.